Welcome to a guided meditation called Bucket of Kindness. This meditation was written by Melissa Dormway of Shambhala Kids. Before we begin, make sure that you are in a comfortable position. You can decide if you'd like to lay down or if you'd like to sit up. Whatever feels the most calm to you. If you'd like to pause the video and get to your comfy spot, do that now and push play when you're ready to start. Close your eyes and take a very deep breath. Keep breathing deeply and feel the cool air Come in through your nose and flow all the way down through your body. Feel your belly extend as you breathe in. Now listen carefully to all the quiet sounds around you. You may hear an outside noise. Maybe cars, maybe birds chirping or other people. Just listen. Now turn your focus within. Listen quietly to what you hear happening within your body. Can you hear your heart beating? Can you hear your breath as you breathe slowly in and out? Maybe your tummy is making noises or you're listening to the sound of your breath or your heartbeat. Whatever is going on inside, just take time to listen. Imagine now inside of you, there is a big, beautiful bucket. Everyone has one, though we can't see it with our eyes. When we feel good, our buckets are full. And when we're feeling bad, our buckets are low or even empty. Did you know that when you fill someone else's bucket with kindness, helpfulness, or even a smile, your own bucket gets filled up too? That's the best way to fill your bucket. When we share goodness and we think happy thoughts, our buckets are filled with so much goodness. When kind words are spoken, buckets get fuller. And when unkind words are spoken, buckets become a little emptier. We all want our buckets to be full of love, kindness, peacefulness, and happiness. Everyone does. So we can make a choice each and every day to show loving kindness to everyone around you and help fill buckets. In doing so, our own buckets fill up as well. They can even overflow with happiness. Let's imagine for a moment a time when you might get upset with someone. What do you imagine is happening to your bucket? What do you imagine is happening to their bucket? We don't want empty buckets because it doesn't feel nice inside. So your goal when you get upset is to talk about what you're feeling without emptying someone else's bucket. You can do it. Just imagine that bucket. Imagine keeping it full. If your bucket ever feels low or empty, you can take in a deep breath and remember how loved you are. You can choose to be grateful for all the things around you and the people you have in your life. Focus on that. Now when you're ready, take in a deep breath. Open your eyes and give your wonderful body a big, wonderful stretch. You've done a great job. Keep your bucket fill. Fill some other buckets and keep your light bright.